Welcome to Homegrow TV. In this week's episode, we're going to be talking about the best way to achieve 100% success rate when sprouting your seeds. The do's and don'ts when it comes to the different methods and what you should be doing to guarantee your seed budget doesn't go to waste. We'll also show you how to plant your seed when it's sprouted and some tips and tricks to make sure your strains get off to an explosive start. By the way, thanks for tuning in for another episode. And if this is your first time, welcome to the internet's highest quality grow show, Home Grow TV, a channel dedicated to the education, entertainment, and everything cannabis cultivation related. Make sure to like and subscribe. It helps the grow movement more than you know. Anyway, that's enough self-promotion. Let's get this fucking episode rolling. <coughs> Over the years, there's been a variety of different ways growers and brands recommend to sprout your seeds. And the way we sprout seeds now is totally different than the way we did it 10 years ago. It's to either put them in a seed tray. After trying almost every method, here's what we recommend. The cotton pad germination method. This style of germination combines the most important factors from different sprouting techniques all into one. And from what we've seen after popping hundreds of seeds, it's the only way to go. So here's how you do it. Step one, soak your seeds for 18 to 24 hours in a shot glass of bottled water or dechlorinated water. We just use tap water that has been out for 24 hours to let the water dechlorinate. But whatever you do, don't go over the 18 to 24 hour mark. You don't want your seeds to over soak because this can slow down the process of germination. Step two, get two cotton pads for each strain that you're germinating. Max five seeds for every two pads. Note that it is very important to use the right type of cotton pads. They can be found at most pharmacies and drugstores, but if you're like me, you're just gonna steal a few from your girlfriend's makeup drawer. Take your seeds and place them inside the cotton pads. If you have one seed, place it right in the middle, but if you have several seeds, make sure you spread them out evenly. Oh, and make sure you have very clean, sterile hands when touching seeds. Step three, spray the pads very lightly. Literally like three, four times with a light mist. You want the pads to be lightly moist, not soaked. Do not pour water on them directly or overspray them. This is going to drastically slow down the process and heavily reduce your chance of success. So again, just three light sprays over all the pads. Step four, cover the seeds with the moist side of the cotton pad, then lightly spray them again with just two sprays. Step five, take each strain and place them in their own Ziploc bag. Then give the inside of the bag just one final spray. Then seal the bag 75%, leaving just a small corner hole for minimal air circulation. You don't want to fully close your bag as this could cause some issues. Step six, make sure to label each bag. I know this sounds obvious, but trust me, it's never fun losing track of strains and having to figure out which one's which in flower. Step seven. Now you want to place your seeds in a slightly warm and dark area for the germination to continue. Personally, I use a small box and place it in the corner of my veg tent, lift it off the ground. It gets cold at night here where I live and that can really slow down the process. Depending on where you live, you can use a dark closet, drawer, or if it's cold, consider using your grow room in a box like I do or buying a heating pad. After just a few days, you should see the seeds fully sprouted. These ones right here took 72 hours to sprout to this incredible size. I'm not used to them sprouting this big so quickly. I recommend definitely planting them before they get this big. So just note that not all seeds are going to look like this. Some are going to take a little bit longer and some of them are going to have smaller tap roots. In just a minute, we're going to cover how to plant your new sprout. But first, let's talk some important facts about germination and other germination styles that we do not recommend. Note that germination generally takes about three to 10 days, depending on the environment, conditions, and strain, but using this method will greatly improve your speed and success rate. You see, your seeds need a perfect combination of moisture, oxygen, and temperature. And using this cotton pad method, you're ensuring that you have all these factors that some germination styles just don't have. So let's cover some of these other techniques. The first is seed to soil. The most classic old school way of just straight up planting the seed in the soil, then lightly watering until it sprouts, somewhere between three to 10 days later. This is a proven method that a lot of great growers still prefer, but honestly, it kind of feels like I'm playing the guessing game. Not knowing when or which seeds are gonna pop can just be straight up stressful. Number two, the soak then pop method. This is when you simply soak your seed in a shot glass of dechlorinated water until you see the taproot pop and then it's time to plant it. Personally, I used to do this 10 years ago, and it was a semi-reliable way to germinate. 
but honestly it took longer than the cotton pad method so I just stopped spreading this way. Number three is the paper towel method. This is similar to the cotton pad method, but here, paper towel is used. We've also used this method a lot in the past as well, and found relative success with about 70% germination rate or so. But honestly, I found that paper towel doesn't retain moisture as well as the cotton pads, forcing me to spray a little bit more often, and sometimes overspraying. Also, it feels like the paper towel cuts off more oxygen than the cotton pads do, which just makes the whole process take longer. That being said, feel free to experiment with these various different methods, but here at Homegrow TV, we recommend sticking with what works. Now, let's talk about what to do when your seed does sprout and how to plant it in its new home. First things first, and that's the medium you're gonna use. For this example, we're gonna use our homemade mix of 70% cocoa fiber and 30% of dirt mix with worm castings. We recommend adding your favorite mycorrhiza and slow release nutrient. In this case, we're going to use Mr. Q's Power Mix and Mycorrhiza, following the instructions on the label. Once you got that mixed up, you're going to fill your pot of choice and poke a small little hole with a marker. Make it about the depth of the tap root, plus a little centimeter or two. Make sure your hands are nice and clean, then gently place a seed into the hole and sprinkle a little bit of soil mix over top. Make sure not to cover the seed too much because that's going to slow down the process and make it harder for the seed to pop. Once you got that done, it's time to lightly spray the top soil around your seed. You don't want to water it directly because that could move the seed and complicate your success rate. You just want to lightly spray around the area of the seed, make it nice, evenly wet, not soaked. Depending on the humidity in your grow room, you might want to put a small little plastic cup with a vent hole or two over top where the seed's going to sprout. So this one right here we use in the example, shot up just after 12 hours. But remember, it's normal for it to take on average 48 to 72 hours after it hits the soil. High humidity is important for the first few days for the seeds to sprout. So you definitely don't want to add any fans pointed directly at your seeds and probably even for the first week or two of edge. And in no time, your little seedling's gonna go from this to this, and eventually to this. So that wraps up this week's episode and grow tutorial. Make sure to share this video with your fellow growers and spread the love. We really hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next week on Home Grow TV. Freedom! So fresh on you. Freedom! It's all for you. It's all for you. Freedom! Keep your ears to the ground. We're talking about freedom! It's the best on